Hello everybody, it's Osha's is here. What you're looking at is a ballast. It's a GE332 uh, MVN. Of course, there's a couple dashes in there. GE-322 MV-N. It's a 120 volt to 277 volt AC ballast that you use in your uh, fluorescent lighting systems anyway uh, what I wanted to show in this video I have a uh, I have a mess going on here get out of the way there okay I <laughs> can't use my dog on everything's messed up around here Urgh. tighten that up all right I have a uh, direct drive motor out of one of the, they call them smart drive motors, out of a uh, washing machine. And what I wanted to show in this uh, video right here was how easy it is to get high voltage at low RPMs. And so with that said, I've got this nifty little gizmo right here which I believe is just set up uh, to smooth out the current in a microwave oven and I got the cord connected to one single phase of this uh, direct drive motor and so with that said um, on this side right here there's four wires uh, on this particular model there's three blues and uh, and uh, one red one so I've tapped into the red one and one of the blue ones and I'm hoping to run I'm gonna set this other piece on the floor here sure. get it out of my way I'm hoping to run this little uh, fluorescent bulb right here that don't sound like much but let me see what we can do here. I'm going to have to turn off some lights. Alright, apologize for that. So I got this little fluorescent bulb going on here. I wanted to show you that uh, the energy that's coming up out of this right here it doesn't take much to run that ballast to give you high voltage so it doesn't make a liar out of me then I will get over here and I'll turn this with my hand see running a uh, direct incandescent light bulb or a transformer you get a lot of back EMF that causes this thing to slow down. But if you can see, I'm not really having to work very hard in order to get that light to, at the very least, just flicker. Alright. Of course, I'm not going to want to sit there and turn that with my dog on hand for the next uh, God knows how long. So I'm going to use a uh, 18 bolt cordless drill 18 bolt and I don't know how many RPMs this thing's kicking out but I uh, wouldn't expect it to be uh, too awful much I don't need a lot of RPMs for what I'm doing here so let's see this real quick <laughs> alright now that's a lot easier than turning the dog on uh, <laughs> turn the thing by hand that's just a little 18 volt cordless drill and so with that said before I get too far out in this I'm gonna try something dangerous <laughs> which I probably should not try I've got a hold of one of these leads right here and I gotta get the doggone antivirus nag screen out of my way so I can see what I'm doing try this one last time with the cordless drill and hope to get an arc that goes to the deal but not to my finger <laughs> okay now 
that's gonna make a liar out of me. Let's uh, take the bulb off of there. See if I can set that puppy straight. Now, I did this earlier and I got a pretty impressive arc off of it. Uh oh. Err! I guess it helps whenever your grill chuck is tight. Hoping you can see that. Let me try it from this angle. All right, I'm gonna have to pause the video to see if you can even see that. Okay, after uh, reflecting back to the video, I seen that uh, I was indeed able to see that on the film. It was a pretty uh, decent arc that uh, showed up on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shine the light down here so you can see there's uh, three 40 watt bulbs running series with each other. I believe these are halogen. If my memory serves. Okay, now keep in mind we're still running these directly off the ballast itself. So let's see if we can get those 340 watt uh, 340 watt bulbs in series to uh, light up. All right, here we go. 18 bolt cordless drill, drill take one. All right, there you go, folks. Uh, pretty low RPMs. And I was able to uh, turn it with a cordless drill, 18 bolt cordless drill. What's the big deal, you might ask? Well, I'm thinking that uh, it's a whole lot easier to get uh, doggone high voltage than it is to get a lot of current watts and amps. Of course, I always get myself in trouble when I start talking this way, but it's all right. Um, that was a pretty substantial arc. If you could actually see it in person, you could see it. So it was a pretty uh, doggone good arc. And uh, these motors, I've seen them run with uh, lawn mower engines and all kinds of crazy stuff going on, and they were throwing off some really hefty arcs. And so, since I have been talking about doing plasma technology, I've been looking for something that would uh, be uh, pretty uh, substantial as far as high voltage output and if that has the capability of creating that kind of arc then it's going to be able to do exactly what I need to do and these are right off the store shelf no modifications whatsoever and this thing isn't even hot after uh, running it even with these uh, other uh, bulbs on it so I got a feeling that if I can put a decent motor on this right here an electric motor that I can pull off a pretty good charge off of that and uh, run a little uh, plasma reactor <laughs> and my cordless drill is getting a little bit low and my nag screens on there again dead burn antivirus alright well for those of you out there that want to do some high voltage experiments, these uh, particular models of ballast, and I'm pretty sure they all do the same exact thing, um, didn't take a whole lot. This is, like I said, this is just a washing machine motor turned with an 18 volt cordless drill, and it was able to put out a pretty hefty arc that you've seen right there. 
and it, the the higher you get these rpms on these motors the more energy they're going to put out i don't even know at some point would they would they burn that ballast out um, these ballasts these modern day ballasts are uh, like uh, electronic and so i don't know what their maximum uh, potential is uh, i'd read some of the document on there but i just wanted to share that with you that uh, it don't take much to produce high voltage and i actually had this uh, fluorescent bulb literally i don't know if you can see it very good there doggone it uh, it's blacking at that end and it's blacking at that end i had that thing glowing hot boy tell you what thought i was going to burn a hole through the glass i don't know if i can do it again let's try i got some bare wires down here i'm liable to get myself shocked on the foot <laughs> There you go. There you go. I don't know if you saw that. I hope you did. But <laughs> even after it shut off, and that puppy's warm right there too, man. There you go, folks. There's your high voltage right there. And you could take uh, <laughs> probably put a bunch of these together and get even better uh, results out of it. Anyway, peace and love. Stay tuned, everybody. I got some really cool stuff that I'm working on and uh, hope to share it with you really soon. Uh, stay tuned.